Welcome to Discovering. Tonight, well, two words should sum it up pretty well. Standard Rock. Standard Rock, uh, fishing's awesome. It's like a five mile reef, 50 miles offshore, and it's so good because it's unpressured water. Put your feet up, the remote down, sit back and relax. It's Monday night and time for the Upper Peninsula's very own Discovering. The secret streams that flow beneath the cliffs of colored stone. Forest thick and healthy with birch and pine and oak. Surrounded by the greatest lakes this world has ever known. The black bear's awesome presence as he roams the hills and fields. The call of the timber wolf, the loon's lonesome trill. The eagle soaring high above, the trout lies deep and still. These are what I treasure. The only way I measure feelings that I have for this fine land. There is so much to discover when you're a long time lover of northern Michigan. My day started at 12.15 a.m. After some coffee, breakfast, and a two-hour drive, I was on the dock in Marquette with hooked up charters. I hopped on board the 28-foot Grady White, called the Meat Wagon, along with Captain Pat Magdaleno, his dad and nephew. It's Pat's boat. He also makes the custom fishing rods we'll be using, and it's he who will deliver us to the promised land. Forty-six miles and an hour and a half later, we were there. A little bit of white fish belly for cut bait. If you're in California, this is The Rock. At one time, home to bad men. In the UP, this is The Rock. Home to big fish. Standard Rock uh, fishing's awesome. It's like a five mile reef, 50 miles offshore. And it's so good because it's unpressured water. More and more boats are coming out every year, but still, it's a long ride, so you have to have the right boat to make it. So it's definitely less pressured, so you can jig fish them out here. There's just a lot more fish than inshore. It's weird, we're drifting this way, but the current is going that way too. So, so we just got out 50 miles from Marquette at Standard Rock. First drop, and we got hooked up. Fishing, there he is right there. Some jigs with a little bit of cut bait on them. Smaller fish there. Not a bad first fish of the morning. People travel all over the country to come out here and fish, and they say it's the loneliest place in, on earth, the lighthouse here. And the fishing's amazing though. It's it's nothing to catch 20 pounders consistently and occasional 30. It's a blast. This is alright. I was reeling in my spoon. Another nice one. I was actually reeling it in super fast to get it out of the way. It got hit. On the screen, how he followed the bait up 20 feet below the surface and it just shot right back down on the bottom. Line. 
Try not to pull these big fish out of the water for too long. Just snap a quick picture and... Double on big ones. So try to leave these fish in the water for as long as we can. Then just take them out for the pitcher. There's a probably 18, 20 pound lake trout. Got a double right away. Got my nephew and my dad out here fishing today. I'm enjoying being able to fish actually. Usually I'm just taking people out. But I get to fish today. Got that one on a watermelon casting spoon from Moonshine. They work really good. That fish followed it up from the bottom and hit about 20 feet below the surface. I just started my charter business last year and uh, I've been fishing the big lake for about 10 years and I love it and just figured after a while of doing it I just decided to might as well get paid to do it and uh, the charter fishing at a Marquette it's pretty big pretty popular so I mean this year has been super busy for me and most of the guys want to come out to Standard Rock and jig these big lake trout and it's one of my favorite things to do I came out here a few years ago for the first time and just had a blast and I'm not a huge fan on trolling for lake trout sometimes uh it's nice to do out here just to find structure and find fish, but jigging them is just super fun because you're holding the rod, you feel the bite, and from hook set to the net, you can, you know, fight the fish. And I just love it. It's a long haul though. Coming out here, it's about 50 miles from the marina where we fish, and it's stressful at times with the weather. And you know, anyone knows that when uh, you're running a boat a lot. There's always issues with the weather or motors or however, and that just comes with it. But you just got to be extra cautious out here and definitely watch watch the weather and watch the clouds and be super careful. Big top there, though. Hold on. Yeah. 12, 14 pounds. See the lamprey mark on them? These fish get so old, almost all the bigger fish have marks on them. So probably 12 to 15 year old fish here. See, if you take care of them, they take off like that, and that's good. You don't want to kill these fish. They're just too old. You want to eat the, huh, I like the four to six pounders. It's perfect eating. Those big old ones don't taste very good anyway. A lot of people have been booking to come out to Standard Rock just because it's world-class fishing. I mean, 80% of my trips have been out to the rock, and a lot of times, you know, the weather prevents me from coming out here, so we'll stick around close. The weather's not as bad inshore. Troll for lake trout and an occasional salmon, four to six hours, eight hours, whatever you, whatever you want. Perfect eater, about a four pounder. Towards the fall, like this time of year, August, September, the near shore fishing gets super good. what we jig with out here is a two to four ounce jig you can have hair on it or not I usually tip it with a, a mr. twister and then a little chunk of cut bait you can use sucker whitefish belly white's usually a pretty hot color I usually use anywhere from a one to four ounce jig there's a casting spoon bite that's pretty good out here as well moonshine the glow 
think it's a three quarter ounce usually just cast it out in the shallows or if i'm fishing deep i'll just cast it out and let it sink for three to five minutes and reel it in slow and usually you can get them that way the suspended fish yep. i'm using a braid 20 pound main line and then i'll tie anywhere from a 12 to 17 pound leader depending on the clarity of the water and double you know how deep we're fishing and what kind of jigs we're using i mean if i'm using really big stuff i'll i'll even up it to 20 pound test strong but more or less when uh in the mornings when there's less light out when it gets the sun comes out the water gets super clear i'll sometimes run a 12 pound leader if uh if i can't get them to bite most guys like to use the spinning reels out here i like the bait caster because they're high speed on this reel, the one crank is 40 inches. So when you're fishing 200 feet, that's nice. Always the mags, custom rods. I got all mags on the boat. and It's nice because I can make the rod and come out here and test one and make it exactly how I want it. This is probably my favorite rod all around. I could cast spoons with it. It's a medium heavy, it's a eight foot. I could jig two to four ounce jigs with it, no problem. 200 feet of water. So yeah, it's always three. nice to build a rod and catch giant fish on it, something that you made. It's fun though when you tie into a 20, 30 pound fish on just stand up, spinning tackle, casting tackle. I forgot what it was like to reel them in. I've been chartering out here, so I haven't been able to actually fish. So it feels good. So this rod, the eyes spiral around the blank and turn on 180 degree. It's designed for deep water jigging and uh, bait caster reels. It, uh, you get more torque out of your blank and you get less rod twist. And at first I was like, I don't know. And then I tried one and I'll never build another rod the same. It's, it just feels so much better. I fished the same blank with uh, a spinning reel and then a spiral wrap and you just can tell a huge difference on the torque of the blank you're getting. And you just get a lot more out of your rod blank this way. I do it for trolling rods, casting rods, deep water jigging rods, anything with a bait caster or conventional reel. I'll fire wrap the eyes. A lot of times the bigger ones, they'll have visitors with them. When you bring them up, a lot of times you'll see other fish. Sometimes it's tough bite. And, you know, I've had to troll out here just to find a nice pot of fish. And then we stop and jig them. There he is. It's fishing. It's not like you're reeling fish every cast, but it's uh, nine times out of ten, it's really good fishing. The fishing this year has been pretty good. The fish are really big this year, healthy, a lot of bait fish. Even the inshore fish are good size, good numbers too. Always towards the fall, it just gets better and better. Twenty pounder, close. Nice, mark there, pretty huh? fish. He fought super good. He's just got huge fins on him. This one's clean, clean fish. We can eat that one. Nice little fish. Usually if I'll keep them, I'll cut the gills and bleed them out. Charger, guys. 
wake up all morning. Another nice double. We're going for a big one now. It's a seven or eight inch bondy bait. 20 pounders not cutting it no more. Can't really even move them off bottom. This is the one. Can't even budge them. Wow. Go back to the bottom. Got a tight drag on him too. She's still pulling. He's over a hundred down. I can gain about ten feet on him and then he goes right back down to the bottom. Putting some heat on him too. And he just oh, straight back to the bottom and now gain a little bit, but then it's a big fish. That's why it's nice to have the right gear uh, for when you do hook a 40, 50 pound fish, you're prepared for it. You might not hook one in five, ten years, but when you do, it's nice to have something that can handle 40 to 50 pound fish and that's what this rod is meant for, bigger fish. Got a bigger reel on there. Still have good action on it, but it's got, you can see where the backbone is on it. It's still got a lot more. You just running a 20 pound leader and I'm putting some heat on them so I don't want to break it. And I haven't even budged this fish off the bottom yet. So I always want to keep good pressure on them because you're using two to four ounce jigs when they head thrash, that jig is moving all over. So if there's any slack, they could throw it out. There he is, Hoya. Oh yeah. He's a big one. No, don't just leave him out. I thought he was bigger, but that's still a mid-twenties fish. There's a big lake trout. It's a 30 year old fish by mid 20s. That's a pretty clean fish, too. It's crazy to think this fish is 30, 35 years old. Old is you. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next week right here on Upper Michigan's very own Discovering.